Happening today, the teenager accused of randomly murdering a Carlsbad hiker is expected in juvenile court today. The suspect faces a murder charge for the stabbing death of 68-year-old Lisa Thorberg on the Hosp Grove Trail back in 2020. CBS 8's Kelly Hustedal joining us live now from juvenile court now with an update on this case. Kelly. Yeah, and the big question that remains in this case is will it be transferred to adult court? Now, the district attorney's office confirms to CBS 8 that they want that to happen, but ultimately the decision lies with a judge who will consider all sorts of factors. The strongest factor is the type of crime that is committed. So if it's, say, like a shoplifting or, a, you know, something small, then it, they waited into trying to giving the juvenile a chance to get rehabilitated. Now, there has been studies that indicate that someone's brain doesn't really develop until they're 26 years of age. So that's one of the factors that the judge also considers. And that is Gretchen von Helms, a longtime criminal defense attorney. Now, she is not associated with this case, but as you heard her say, the judge in making his or her decision will put a lot of weight into the seriousness of this case. The judge will also consider the defendant's criminal history. Now, the defendant, Haloa Bodet, was 17 when he was arrested for the crime. He is now 18 years old. He's been in custody for the past year and a half. And we do know from the preliminary hearing, hearing that is some of the evidence uh, the prosecution has against him, including DNA evidence from Bodet. Uh, found on Lisa Thorborg's clothing. Prosecutors say they also have surveillance footage from a nearby camera that shows images of a male resembling the defendant running away from the park about 15 minutes after police believe Thorborg was killed. However, Baudet's public offender says the problem with the prosecution's case and the DNA evidence is that investigators found DNA from two other people besides Baudet on Thorborg's shorts. Now back out here live, Motive still remains a mystery in this case. Now, the hearing is scheduled for 1.15 this afternoon. We will be here covering it and let you know what happens. Kelly Hess at all CBS 8.